Today we are at University Tanaka National or UMI10 uh, to look at the, the preparations of the university uh, for the Iprodo Eco Challenge. Uh, what you see behind you are two race cars. UMI10 has decided to build two competing team, two competing race cars uh, from two competing teams, and uh, they will fight for honors. Whichever team that wins gets to represent the university at the Prodo Eco Challenge, which will take place in the middle of next month. Uh, so. Later, we'll go and speak to the students and the lecturers and find out what they're doing and what they're focusing on in order to win the Pro Eco Challenge. My name is, uh, well, Mikhail Fong Abdullah. So I'm basically the Chief uh, Technical Director for both teams. Yes, Uni10, Unity Tanaka National have two teams instead of one. And uh, these two teams are going to pit against each other today for a race internally in Uni10 and the best is going to represent Uni10 in the race in, uh, in Malacca June 24th, Perdo Eco Challenge. So uh, why we have two teams? Well, we really need these two teams so they will push each other, so they will compete against each other and also we want to open the opportunity to as many students as possible. So I want them to, we really want them to get involved in the uh, theory, application and everything. So that is the thing. Of course, the resources, the budgets are tight, but we manage. We give them a budget for each team, same budget, and then they work on it from scratch. It's already three months. So here we are, we have uh, the two cars. So we have uh, on my left here is basically the car themselves, the team AE86. So you might recall this is from the Drift series and on the left of this car we have uh, team number two which is team Ecotech. So everything from the design to the uh, fabrication is handled by the students. So they did a very good job and we will see who will win our internal race and who will represent UC Tanaga National on June 24th. Of course, uh, the Perodua Eco Challenge is a mileage test. How far can you go this time around in a half a liter of fuel? So, in our engineering analysis, we have, we emphasize on aerodynamics, of course. So, I think uh, this is the best that again, uh, mind you, these students are not from the final year. They are only second year students in mechanical engineering department and a few from electrical as well. So they are only second year students, of course they already learned the uh, theories and the application and then we also really need them to focus on uh, computational, computational fluid dynamics to analyze their cars and besides the uh, structural integrity of the chassis. So uh, we have them basically also learn by themselves, of course assisted by us and do all the simulation by themselves. So by the end of the day, I believe the product uh, well tested. Well, you'll see today how the race goes today. I'm actually quite uh, happy to see that Uniten and Perdua are working together to develop this kind of challenge, and especially in terms of uh, innovativeness and creativity, which I think. Um, all these are actually hidden treasures that you uh, should be should be unearthed to the public. You know, I see that all these are, are not well publicized. Uh, it should be publicized more. Okay, um, I'm from the Special Innovation Unit under the Prime Minister's Office. Uh, we are coming up with a project called Inno Accelerator, where we are trying to bridge universities, industries, and schools. So uh, we are in the planning stages with Unit 10 actually to do this for the uh, green technology sector to get universities, uh, industries and schools to work together because we see that here in Malaysia people tend to work in silos, uh, they don't work together so we're working on that soon. So, okay, basically my name is Muhammad Nazirul Iman I'm representing AE86 group Kami dah buat kereta ni dalam masa 3-4 bulan lah Untuk siapkan kereta ni Konsep kereta ni konsep F1 lah Kita orang buat bagi F1 sebab dia aerodynamic dan light Masa nak buat kereta ni banyak challenge juga lah Macam ECU box kita rosak Anggaran kita orang without driver dalam 300-310 kg Space frame saja 23 Kita orang firstly kita orang design dulu And then after that kita orang discuss dengan orang kedai 
dengan pomen lah pomen dengan pomen lah then dia bagi cadangan on how we are going to make it design it then they build lah we build it our target is 20 km above lah ok macam dia punya suspension ni absorber dia kita pakai absorber motor absorber ni pakai absorber FZ lah motor FZ Yamaha 150 sebab nak bagi ringan kan lagi sebab kita orang kalau pakai yang kereta punya dia berat Kokpit dia memang diukur untuk driver saja. Daripada awal memang dah set dia sebagai driver lah. Kita orang buat kas kereta untuk dia je. Sebab kita orang punya yang depan tu bahagian depan dah buat tinggi kan. Memang set. So memang perlukan orang tinggi lah. Ha, baru nampak depan kan. Eh. Engine ni engine Viva. So kita orang basically biasa je lah. Tak pakai tak buat apa sangat. Cuma benda ni kita orang baik kecil kan. Sebab bila angin masuk untuk pressure. My name is Tan Win Yu. I rep I'm a representative from the team Ecotech, as well as a team from Uni10. So therefore, this car is actually an eco-concept car. That's why we build it like a normal car. Right. It's an economical and ecological car. That's the term eco car. It's a fuel saving plus. It's actually an economic fuel saving car. It's like a concept car itself. The car. concept that we're using right here is all about fuel saving. Therefore, we develop a concept car. It is not about racing, it is not about anything. We want to build a car which is a very uh, road practical, which can be driven on the road itself. And therefore, we come up with a wide design, a comfort, driver comfort itself, and also practicality. That's how we come up with this design. Our, light, our frame here weighs about 50 kilograms after reduction. The first design comes about 80. But then after a modification, We've done a modification about 30 kg reduction and therefore comes with this lightweight aluminium and also the plywood design right here and that's the engine itself. We have done the FEM analysis to make sure that the engine itself and the chassis itself has a factor of safety of 3.0 and a lightweight design. That's why I say it's an eco car. The target fuel itself, now we are using a current standard engine development which is all standard configuration. We target about 20 kg per uh, half litre.